Hey y'all, I've got a pretty exciting topic today. We're going to be diving into Meshi AI, a game-changing tool for 3D artists and game developers. As you can see here, it comes with a host of features like text to 3D, image to 3D, and even custom rigged animations, making your workflow faster and more creative. Join over 2 million creators who trust Meshi AI, the number one AI tool for 3D creators worldwide. It's fast, intuitive, and perfect for anything from quick prototypes to polished assets. Let's jump in and see what it can do. So I've already been playing around with this a bit, and I want to show you a workflow that's really similar to the types of arts and world designs that I focus on here on this channel. Low poly, stylized environments. You know, where every tree looks like a Dorito. Let's start with a pine tree. It's super simple. Just give a descriptive prompt, click generate, and wait about a minute. And boom, Meshi's already generated four starting meshes. I like that it gives a good variety to pick from. I think it's pretty obvious the one that we should choose. So I'm gonna go with this first one since it fits our low poly description really well. Meshi also lets you easily generate a texture for your model. Once you've picked the one that you want, just click generate texture and Meshi does the rest. All right, let's check out the result. And you know what? It's already looking pretty solid. You can also view different materials with a single click on the top left. Once we add some example lighting that Meshi provides, the model actually looks even better now. So you can also see uh, if you check out the mesh by clicking that last tab, it will show you, you know, the full mesh. It's a little high for a low poly model, but that's where the next awesome part of this workflow comes in. You can edit the mesh after generating it using the built-in remesh tool and set a target poly count. I'm gonna drop it down to about 3K and seems like it handled it just fine. And you know, trust me, your game engine is gonna thank you later for this. I've spent a little time generating a few different pine trees and maple trees, but now I wanna show you another really useful feature, the community section. You can search the public assets for any model that you want and download an FBX file. I mean, wow, <laughs> there's really tons of high quality models already on here. And I'm really liking this stone well asset. So how about we download that and check it out? What's also great about Meshi is it integrates seamlessly with tools like Blender. We can just import this model into Blender and check it out. So a quick tip here, if you find that the model has way too many polygons, it's really not an issue. You can just open Blender, use the decimate modifier, bring down that poly count, and then just hit apply. So now you can see that we have you know, a much more low poly version that honestly looks pretty much identical. You might be wondering, how does this all work inside of a game engine? Well, I decided to put it to the test and build a quick environment. And spoiler alert, I've got some pretty incredible results just messing around with it for about 10 minutes. So here's what I did. I used Meshi to generate the models and textures that I needed. For example, I knew that we were gonna need a grass texture for the ground. So I grabbed a reference image, dropped it into their texture tool, and after a few tries, landed on something that I liked. I also browsed their community page and downloaded a few models to help fill out the scene, like a wooden structure, the stone well we saw earlier, and a 3D character. And all right, over to Unity. I imported the FBX models and textures into the project. And starting with the terrain, I just added a texture layer and set the meshy grass texture as a base layer. You can adjust a lot of this in the engine. So I thought that the grass was maybe just a little bit too bright. So I darkened it slightly with this tint feature. And just like that, we've got a nice looking terrain with our custom texture applied. Next, I dropped in the well model and the wooden structure. I'm not gonna go too crazy here, just showing how fast you can pull together a simple scene. I also brought in a pine tree model and started painting a forest onto the terrain. To make it feel more complete, I added a custom skybox, some fog in the lighting panel, some real grass detail to break up that ground texture, and with just a few quick edits, it's already starting to feel like a real environment. The very last thing I wanted to show are the 3D character models and animations. If you open up our guy from earlier, you'll see a bunch of animations that can be instantly applied. So Meshi even allows you to preview them and download them directly. And these also just simply work in Unity, so I just highlight the animations that I want. And in this case, I'm just gonna take the walking animation for simplicity. You just download the character model with the animations all bundled together. Once imported into Unity, you just drag the model into your scene and there's just a tiny bit of setup. So first you gotta create an animator component on the character, create an animator controller asset, then generate an avatar by clicking on the model file, go to the rig tab, 
setting the animation type to humanoid, and then you just click apply. Now drag that avatar into the animator components avatar slot, and you're done. In the animator window, just drag the animation clip onto the controller, then go to the animation tab to preview it. And hey, looks like our guy is walking. All right, I just wanted to show you one final quick demo of this simple open world scene I threw together using Meshi AI's tools for the textures and 3D models. In my honest review, I'm seriously impressed. I didn't think that this level of quality using AI was possible yet, and I definitely didn't think it would integrate so well with Unity. But here we are, just throwing together a basic open world environment in just a few minutes. So what do you guys think of Meshi AI? Is this something you would use? Have any questions or experiences with it? I'd love to hear from you down in the comments, and I'll also drop a link for you to check out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and send me to the good algorithm universe. Peace.